Good morning, my lovely Scorpios. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be your monthly reading. Even true, this is for January. You can see this when it comes to you. My readings are always timeless. Take what resonates, leave the rest, flip the roles. You can be male, you can be female. All right, before we dig into the cards, let's go through some important factors and intuitive messages for you this next month ahead. One thing I see for you is that you are collaborating with people who are vibing with you, not against you. And this is actually something that makes you vibe even higher. And this makes you manifest bigger this year. I heard someone say, oh, it will be a sweet surprise. There is a lot of focus on the people who are closest to you. You see, you feel, you realize something major that like unlocks a chain that has kept you stuck when it comes to relationships or friendships. And in the second half of January, the destiny-driven North Node is moving into Taurus and your relationship house for the first time since 2004. So that's a long time ago. There might have been something that happened in 2004. It doesn't have to be significant for you, but if it is, there might be something. You free yourself from a big block. I have this vision of you smiling, like realizing that there's no chains attached to your hands or your feet or anything, maybe even your heart. It's free, it's falling off. And I saw a bird with that. Birds are messenger bringers, so that is definitely a message for you. And with this, this makes new people, destiny people, as I like to call them, move into your life. This might at times feel as by magic. It's people who will be serious about the connection and the balance, the harmony in the relationship and the friendship. I also feel there's a lot of rebranding going on for you. This could be in many forms because this can be you rebranding you. This could be rebranding your company if you have a company or a project or something. It's a very powerful time for you to let go and to shed off the old layers. Yeah. I also feel there's something that you have forgotten that comes into focus again. And I see that you're opening up this big box and you're looking at it. You're realizing something, you're finding something, or putting something down. Whatever that might mean for you. The last thing for you is, I had this, and this is something that comes from one of your spirit guides. Hold on with saying yes until next month. A raven is going to come to you, showing you the way. Follow and trust. That's the last words that I heard. Follow and trust. And with that, I think that we should dig into the cards. Follow and trust. The raven said follow and trust. Tree, everything comes in tree. We have a ship, we have ten. Wow. Mmm, beautiful. Sea turtle. Conservation. Make conscious choices. Very beautiful that you actually have sea turtle. Lovers. Mm -hmm. So first of all, we have a beautiful ship. The ship is movement. I feel that the recording is still very white. I am trying to put it down a little. The light is shifting outside all the time, so it might... I saw 707 with that, so the light might also shift. Um, while we do the reading. 
I feel that's actually something that's very symbolic for some reason. Because I kept being stuck in that the light might shift a lot. Hmm. Whatever happens this month takes you on a new journey. Maybe on a vacation. It prepares you for something. Business trip. No matter what it is, you will need a suitcase this year. So whatever it is that you're planning or doing this year is very, very important for your future. Or this month. Whatever you do this month is very important for your, your future. This year is going to be massive for you. To the point where I don't think that you fully trust that it will be this big, but it will. You set the tone this month, I feel. There's something about where you are now and where you will be when we come to the end of the year. So maybe there is a move or there is something where you work a new place or new, yeah, new house, new country, a relationship, whatever it is, it stays at distance. You can see and feel the distance or the growth, the jump. You will be constantly in motion. And maybe this is this month, you know, you will constantly have something that you want to do, something you're organizing. It's your life's journey. I really feel that you're playing the right game. The game of hope, the game of trust. The game of destiny. And with that, let's see what else we can get. The, la the next cards are going to be very significant for this journey or for this ship. First of all, I paid attention to the two of wands and I paid attention to the eight of wands. Oh yeah, okay. Well, there was no need for shuffling this time. Hmm. Conscious choices. Conscious choices. You know, you're not just, you know, randomly picking. You know exactly where you want to go. And it makes sense that there is this this constant moving or yeah movement with the ship, I really feel some of you guys are going to go on a travel this year. It might not be this month. Well, for some of you it might be, but with this situation, a world situation, obviously it's not something that is that much out there, right? And especially with the Eight of Pentacles, together with the Judgment card, this is fame. It's something you have worked hard on for a long time. And you feel so confident in it that it will inspire other people. Just keep going. Keep this steady movement, motivation. Love what you practice. Live what you practice. Be proud of yourself. Be proud of your skills because you're mastering something very beautiful. So it could be a new job, self-employment. You're building a business. You're building an empire. You're building something. Something that you're very concentrated on, something that you're very proud of. And like I said, with the sea turtle, the sea turtle is a creature that is known to communicate with spirit world. It's a very intuitive creature, which, you know, if you see it, it's not what you might think, but it is. It wants to help people and it comes to people to make them think bigger, being more flexible, which actually fits into the bigger message that you got. It's a magical symbol of success in everything that you do, which just fits into the rest of the message. You're moving into an easier life with no stress. It's a clear path and has no obstacles. No. I don't think that this can be more magical than that. You know what you want. You're going after it. You're not suddenly making a choice because they, you are very precise. Very precise. Six of Pentacles. Yeah. The High Priestess. Very precise. Again, you're, it's fo it, yeah, it, it just follows the story, right? Because now we spoke about the Sea Turtle is very intuitive. The High Priestess is very intuitive. I mean, I don't think this can be any... Ooh more magical. Two of Swords. 
don't be afraid of making this decision. Because I think that you already know what it is that you want to do. And I feel there's something about investment or something that you might be a little worried about. Like, is this going to pay off? Is this the right way for me? Is this the right decision? And it is. It is. Trust yourself. Because what you can see with the two of swords is that it's connected with the justice card, it's connected with the high priestess, and she like hides away her third eye. So if there is a block, tune into your spirit guides. Every time that you feel lost, I feel that your spirit guides are going to be right there, giving you signs, a lot of signs. Let's take the book for the lovers and see what it is. Yes, it's love. Well, we actually do have the Page of Cups. So maybe you have been worried about a uh, offer. I mean, again, in the sense of love, there is love in many things. Because with the cards here, there is a lot of focus on career and movements but if there should in the midst of you being so busy with all this be a person coming in could be a younger person could be an earth sign could be a water sign no matter what it is a, a sign and message of you being connected with your inner child allowing yourself to be sensitive it's psychic energy it's spiritual messages which fits so well with the turtle it's romance, it's you being artistic. And you being all that might actually open up for a person coming in. We will see what the cards has to say. It drives you forward and pulls you back to your heart. You are being pulled back to your heart. And I really trust and feel, also because they look up here, right? Maybe whatever you do now is preparing you for this romantic person, relationship. It makes the mind mad and breaks it open into enlightened compassion. It is love. Your yearning heart shall have it. Your destiny is to be the lover of the beloved. Remember, there's new people coming into your life. Destiny people. So, I, it wouldn't surprise me that a soulmate is among them. Be open for it now. This oracle brings a message of love. Love and love. It is finding you now. Be open to it in all its forms. Be the god and the goddess of love and paint the town red. Play in passionate embrace with life as your lover and prepare to receive even more than what you believe you are capable of handling. Another message of that. You already got that. But let's see if Spirit wants to give us some clues. Wow! Okay! <laughs> so, we have even more signs of travel, we have even more signs of success. There is Leo energy here and there is a knight. I feel that this is going to end up with you actually falling in love. And some of you guys might be like, I'm not interested in that. This is going to come in very surprisingly. When you are at the peak of your success, I don't think you're going to see this coming. And I think this is going to be very healing. This person who comes your way sees you as a healer. And it might start out start out small because I feel that you have a lot of focus on success and yourself. And sometimes that is what breaks the spell, right? It could be someone with Scorpio or Sagittarius in their chart. But it's also just a hot mix of passion and ambition and desire. It's a hot part of magic and I feel this person sees you as someone who likes to do things your way they like that they really are intrigued look at all these like beautiful yellow colors hmm I heard travel and immigration which makes sense with the knight of wands it makes sense with the three of wands it makes sense with the two of wands wow holy banana 
you inspire people around you and you are excellent you are so brilliant when it comes to networking when it comes to promoting that is things that are highly in focus for you this month maybe you work with media or maybe you have a wish to do that or it's just this like business you know you have a business idea there's something you're working on and it's going to go very very well for you I feel that is a message for you I love this Scorpio I am proud to be Scorpio Moon Mercury Venus <laughs> and whatever else I have with Scorpio because let's just bash in this magic claim this magic in the readings because it's coming your way if you want it or not destiny is calling pack your suitcase put it in a corner <laughs> it's the best way to manifest you know just play pretend pack a suitcase pack some things that you don't need buy some extra toothpaste and stuff like that put it in a suitcase because no matter what you are even traveling or moving this year so why not just put it out there already yeah okay people love you all thank you for being here make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye